Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now this is going to be quite a short video just because it took more time to set up than anything else and I thought it would be just a bit boring watching me place these chests. So this tutorial is just showing you how to make a chest randomizer. Now this can be used in a survival games mini game and if you wanted to make survival games uh, you could easily just follow my spleef tutorial and instead of it make you teleport to the spleef arena just make it teleport you to a survival games arena and have a countdown which counts down to the game and randomizes the chess using this technique so all I've done here is literally copy exactly what I had on my randomizer video and which has a spread armor stand uh, the set block command block, set this back to where, the spread players command which teleports that armor stand and then set a redstone block underneath this guy here under here so I've literally just copied my randomizer tutorial and just changed the commands inside here so the way it works is this block is that one this one is one of them I, I can't remember the order I did it in but each command block is specific to a different chest so the command I've used is slash clone so this way you can clone this block so this is the first coordinate of the block and then you literally just copy the same coordinate because you're only copying one block and then the final set of coordinates will be this block so this is an example and each one will have a different clone so for example, I know this block clones this block, so if I press the button, he's now teleported to here, so if I quickly TP to that, so this block, this guy has just cloned this block, which is boots, sword and seven arrows, into here. So as you see, it's exactly the same. Now if I press it again, he's now in the middle one, so if we copy that so it's the middle chest so I guess I kind of made it even so this one's a golden sword and a leather tunic and in here gold sword and leather tunic let's do one more test oh we've done that one so this one which should be actually I know it isn't should be the one furthest away there uh, TP there yep so this is fishing rod three cut pot chop and fishing rod three cut pot chop so you could have thousands of chests that would take ages to command block but you could have thousands of chests and every time you want to add some chests you have to add it in even order so you add one layer around the uh, the guy and then every time you add a layer you add one to here so if I make it 2.5 See, he's now gone to this one, which hasn't got a command in it, so it won't work, obviously. But you would add, once you've added another layer, you, that'll be 25 chests you need to add. So you'll add one, two, three, obviously they need to be separate, like that. And you'll just add them, you can lay them out however you want, you can stack them up. And just change the coordinates that it clones it to, and the chest that it will clone it to. And if you wanted multiple chests, you would literally just repeat this process, but instead of it copying to this block, copy it to, I don't know, the block next to it. So if I make this 159, and just hope that it lands on the middle one. Oh, in fact, it did. So now we've got a large chest, because it changed the coordinate. So, obviously there's no block there now. If I do it it sets the block there with the relative thing so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and i do have more videos that i'm going to be doing later but thank you guys for watching and i shall see you in the next video